If Brisbane's flood seems extreme, this is why. Now being released at an astonishing rate, the incredible volumes of water backed up behind the enormous Wyvernhoe Dam. This engineering feat was built to protect Brisbane after huge rains flooded the city in 1974. For more than 30 years, it worked well, but trying to hold back all the water that's fallen in the last few months and days would burst the dam. Believe it or not, this is a controlled release. That is a simply staggering sight, a vast quantity of water heading straight for Brisbane. In normal times, the dam's a tourist attraction, but no one on the viewing platform now. Clouds of vapour spewing up from the torrent. The water's route takes it through the Queensland hinterland, a normally snaking river spilling way beyond its banks. Farm buildings on higher ground survive, power poles smashed. In Ferndale, a hilly town downstream and currently cut from the rest of the world, we spotted an impromptu public meeting, these floods bringing communities together. Where the river hits urban areas, the force of it clear. Ipswich, Brisbane's inland sister city, was hit harder than the state capital earlier in the week. These waters lower than they were. In Red Bank, further east, roads and railways still underwater. And then the city itself, much submerged. All the rainwater channeled to the reservoir, released from the dam and snaking through the countryside ends up here. Australia's coastal third city, the water's end of the line. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Brisbane.